Arjun is in a miserable position. That is not the position of Arjun, the person. That is the situation of entire mankind. That is the conflict that we all face daily, every day. So first of all, it is not about Arjun and Krishna. It is not about two persons. Arjun and Krishna are both within us. Krishna is not standing in front of Arjun. Krishna is the heart of Arjun. During the journey of life, one comes across many stages where decision making is difficult and it's not easy to tell right apart from wrong. Whom do you depend upon at these critical junctions? I have a mad servant. Hmm? Let's say I have a mad servant. I didn't know he was mad because I too am mad because of keeping his company. If you remain in contact with madness for too long, the madness rubs upon you. You too catch some of that madness. So I have a mad servant and his company has made me a little mad. Maybe not as mad as him, but yet not wise either. It never occurred to me that he is mad because I too am a little mad. So I could never figure out that my servant is Mad. To figure out that someone is mad, first of all, you need to be sane. I was not sane because of his company. Do you see what kind of a loop this is? Hmm? So I send my servant to bring food for me and he's mad. You do not know what he can bring. But I don't think he is mad. So I entrust him with the task of fetching food for me. And while he is away, grace dawns upon me unexpectedly. And I at least temporarily recover from my insanity. So I am not, not as mad when the, husband, when, the, when the servant returns with the food items. Now I am sane at least for a while. And the servant keeps these food items in front of me. Hmm? And he says, pick whatever you want to, your choice. The servant is mad, all the items have been brought by him. The servant is mad, all the choices that are in front of me are choices that this mad one is presenting to me. Now my question is, which of these food items is the right item to eat? Sir, please. Which of these items is the right item to eat? It is a critical juncture as you have said and you need to make a decision between right and wrong. Which of these must you pick up? Which of these must you pick up? They all appear different but they all have something in common. What is that? They all have been brought to you by the mad servant. Now what is the question of right and wrong? Can there be a right choice when the whole background, the entire environment itself is wrong and false? You have only one option, reject everything. 
नाइदर ए नॉर बी नॉर सी नॉर डी नथिंग रिजेक्ट एवरीथिंग देन दैट विच इज रियली इनडिस्पेंसिबल विल कम टू यू द राइट चॉइस कम्स टू यू ऑन इट्स ओन यू डोंट हैव टू परस्यू इट but the right cannot come to you till you are occupied with the wrongs all the choices presented to you are coming from the same source the same center what is that center the same mind now coming from the same center how can one choice be right and one be wrong coming from the same mad servant how can one item be right and another be wrong if he is mad all his choices are going to be mad choices how can you take one as superior over the other all are the same reject everything reject everything reject everything and then that which is right will come to you in that empty space that has been now sanctified by rejection we don't want that we want to keep occupying the chair and we want truth to come and sit in the chair you are sitting in the lord's chair and you are praying lord please come take your chair see how hard am i praying to you where are you praying from you are praying from the wrong place your very beginning is wrong how can the end be right sitting in an unauthorized place sitting where you should not be sitting you are asking for good things to happen to you how can good things happen first of all reject the very center don't reject the food item reject the servant itself when you have rejected the servant you have rejected all the choices that the servant presents to you you know who the servant is yes the mind all the choices that come to you come from the mind reject them and then that will come to you which is choiceless that is real there you will have some joy hmm?